Hello again. So this is it. This is the last video of um, my most current Sterling engine. It's actually off to a new home tomorrow. Um, I wanted to give it a go before I sell it because um, I've actually made a few changes since last time. Um, so I'll take you through those now. There we go. Last test run. All ready to go. I've got my audience uh, ready to see it. So the first change I made is I've used some novelty items for the reservoirs. Um, this is for the cooling um, for the seal to protect the seal. Um, originally I had this as part of the main radiator circuit, um, but unfortunately it didn't work too well because there's too much resistance in the pipework. So here you've got the radiator. Um, you can see it works on the thermosiphon effect to cool the cold, the, uh, cold side. Right, so I've also added a cooling radiator. This is connected to the cold side. Um, see the pipes going in at the top and coming out the bottom. Um, this works on a thermosiphon effect. Um, it took a little while to get this working. Originally I had the radiator lower down, um, but there wasn't enough um, heat rising um, or hot water rising um, to set up the thermosiphon effect. So I've had to play around with this a bit, but it's just about working now. Um, so that does that. So I've got this. Um, I've got another Dymo here. This is a, uh, a hoverboard motor. You recognise? I used this on my last engine because it's an extremely cheap way of getting a generator. Um, these can be found on eBay for about twenty pounds. Um, and I've got this connected to a um, through a, a diode pack. So three phases into the plus and minus. There. Um, I've got my power meter here. So there we go. That's the voltage on the watt meter. So we've got fifty volts there at the moment. This is our battery pack. So this is four batteries. I, I've used these batteries on my electric push bike. So you could technically use this engine to charge your electric push bike if you wanted to. So if I were today, I've got some kindling to get it going. And then I'll use a few other sticks around the place. It's only going to be a short run today. So this hasn't run for about three months now. So the voltage is reading 49.72 volts at the moment. Um, I don't know if that's quite enough to charge. Um, I'll just disconnect the generator a minute and see what voltage the actual batteries are themselves. 
the voltage with the generator disconnected is 49.7. Um, to be fair, disconnecting the batteries um, hasn't actually equaled an increase in the, the speed of the Sterling engine. So I think its uh, speed is probably maxed out pretty much. Um, I haven't got the hottest fire going either. Um, if I ran something really hot like coal or some uh, hardwood, then I expect it would be a slightly different situation. Alright, so I've run out of wood now. I've put everything I had on. Um, this is going to be a very short run. So I'll just leave the fire die down now and call that a night, I think. I just wanted to check really that the thing was uh, running well before I um, pass it on to its new owner. It hasn't run for quite a few months now since winter's been here, so I thought it was a good opportunity to do that. So there you go, that's all for now from this Sterling engine. Um, I shall be building another engine very shortly, I've got a few ideas, um, so stay, stay tuned for that one and um, I'll get back to you soon. Bye!